Hi there, my name is Jens Mueller with Tosh Computers. This information video is for you to learn about the different options you have when you purchase Adobe software. Adobe, without doubt, is the leading manufacturer for software in the graphics design, flash, web design, video and film business for both Mac and Windows and has been for many years. We are not part of the Adobe distribution system and therefore I don't have to tell you the party line from Adobe but I can tell you what your true choices are. We sell a lot of Adobe packages worldwide and this is to give you some more information about the choices that you have. Adobe sells its software on a very simple basis. You don't own the software you purchase that's owned by Adobe and remains to be owned by Adobe. You own a right to use the software based on license agreements there are three different license agreements for most end users, student, educator, and commercial. You have to agree to a license agreement to lawfully use the software. It is not clear if Adobe can enforce against someone a breach of a license agreement after you purchase the software and therefore owns the right to use, but these license agreements are quite clear in what they allow and what they don't allow. The three categories, student, educator, and commercial, have virtually no difference in content. Sometimes for the commercial version, Adobe packages some freebie bonus bits and pieces into the software, but the functional software is exactly the same. There is only one Adobe Premium Design, there's only one Adobe Master Collection, there's only one Adobe Photoshop, and so forth, for either Windows or Mac, regardless of the three different types of licenses that you might purchase. This brings up a good point. You have to decide at the time of purchase whether you want the unit for Mac or for Windows. They are not interchangeable. Once you purchase a license in a box for Windows, for instance, it works on Windows but not on Mac, and the same way around the other way. There is one package, Lightroom 2, that comes from Mac and Windows and is the exception. Otherwise, you must determine before you purchase what platform you will use the software on. Adobe software comes packaged in a very simple way. You have a box and the box allows you to then use the software based on the DVDs that come from the box. Each box that we sell comes labeled as made in the US, comes labeled as for distribution in the US. That is the software that you want because Adobe is a US manufacturer. That is their largest market and you want to make sure you have what they assign for that market as the most current software. Now for student licensees, the process is somewhat complicated and that is part of the reason why that software is a lot cheaper. First of all, you must be a student. You cannot be an educator, you cannot be a non-student. That, whether you are a student or not, is up for Adobe to decide. When you purchase student software, you can lawfully only purchase that software from two sources, either from Adobe directly or from a university. You cannot buy it from anyone else because anyone who buys a student software is not allowed to resell that. So be careful when you buy student software from anyone who is not Adobe or a university. When you buy the student software, you get the box and you get the software. But you can't use it yet because the box is missing a serial number. Every Adobe package, when it fires up the first time, sends the serial number to Adobe to verify that that serial number is not in use elsewhere. That protects against copying the software and using it on multiple computers and paying only once. At the time of registration, when the software is transmitted, no other information is transmitted, only the serial number. In a student package, in order to get a serial number, you must apply to Adobe. Adobe will then send you a serial number and they will first check your ID, they will check that you are going to an appropriate college or university, they will go through an ID check, they must not issue a serial number, they can if they want to, if they feel that the information is not provided correctly, they will ask you questions. So student software is not available for immediate use and it has restrictions as to who can buy and who can sell. When you buy an education package, it comes in the same DVD as before the student package. The big difference is that when you turn it around, on the back it has a serial number. That serial number is used to register the software. That makes the big difference between what you get from a student package and an educator package. 
because the educator package is ready to use right out of the box. On the box itself, it will say education ID required. Look down here for any of the packages, it will say education ID required. That is purely a label that Adobe puts on the box in order for the retailer to be able to enforce that only educators can buy that software at that price. We have decided not to check for ID. That means that although the box is labeled education ID required, it is presumed that we have checked ID and that we're selling you the software as an educator. We don't do that. Therefore, you can buy the software as anyone. Since we don't provide ID checks, we find that quite inappropriate. You end up with a software that is ready to use out of the box. One question that a lot of people ask is when you fire up the software, when you start it for the first time, will you have to register and show any sort of ID? For students, yes. For educators, no. That means that an education package when it is started for the first time, sends back the serial number that's in it, and that is all it does. In fact, I will read from the box from Adobe. It says the software may automatically attempt to activate over the internet. No personally identifiable information will be transmitted except to the IT that an IP address could be considered personal information. So the only thing that Adobe gets is the IP address and the serial number. They do not get any ID. That means that there is no checking at this point whether you are an educator or not. The third license option is commercial. Commercial means that it is an unrestricted license. It is for commercial use. That is an interesting definition because Adobe itself is writing that the education license can also be used for commercial use and I'm showing you the website below. Commercial licenses also have a serial number enclosed. There is no restrictions on the use other than the license agreements and the distinction between those three is mainly price. There is no feature difference. There is a procedural difference. Students must apply for a serial number. Education and commercial packages have a serial number included. That means in summary that the education version is ready to use by anyone provided that you can agree to the license agreements. There are no restrictions as to having to ask Adobe or anyone to use it. The commercial version has a similar open access and has a different license agreement. Good luck and we wish you all the best.